All right, now in this video, we are going to talk about the relationship between the coefficients of um, quadratic equations and their roots. So in a typical quadratic equation, we have ax squared plus bx plus c equals to zero. So let's say we know that this quadratic equation has got two roots, and the two roots are alpha and beta. Okay, so what is the relationship between this alpha, beta, and the a, and the b, and the c? So generally, we know that uh, if this quadratic equation has got these two roots, uh, we know that this quadratic equation can be expressed in this factorized form, which is x minus alpha and x minus beta equals to zero. Now, if you're a little bit confused with this, let's take a few uh, minutes to talk about uh, this with an example. Now, let's say we have an example, which is uh, x squared minus 2x um, minus 3 equals to zero. Okay, now using a calculator or using a formula or you know any other methods, we know that the roots of this equation is x equals to 3 and x equals to negative 1. Okay, and because we know that these are the roots, we also know um, that we can rewrite this quadratic equation uh, into this factorized form. Okay, and that's how we end up with um, x equals to 3 and x equals to negative 1. Okay, now expanding this quadratic uh, this factorized form, uh, we will end up with, as you can imagine, if we were to do the expansion, the Okay, we will end up with the same quadratic equation as first place. All right, so this is sometimes how we solve a quadratic equation, and um, <clears throat> we factorize it, and then we solve for the x. Okay, so in other words, if we know the roots, we can figure out the equation as well. Okay, so so if you understand this, then you should have no problem coming back to this. So a quadratic equation typically looks like this. Okay, and if you have two roots called alpha and beta, take into consideration that now your alpha is like the three here and the beta is like the negative one here. Okay, so this quadratic equation can be rewritten as uh, this factorized form. Now, and if we were to do the same thing, that means to say we would expand out um, this 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 uh, factorized form. Okay, this way. So we do the expansion using a distributive law. So we will end up with x squared minus um, beta x minus alpha x plus alpha beta equals to zero. And we will to simplify this a little further. Okay, we will get alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta equals to zero. Okay, and the idea is that this equation, uh, after we expanded out this one, okay, is the same as this one over here. Okay, uh, which is what we discussed over here at the first place. Now, then you may say, Mr. Ang, <coughs> it doesn't look quite the same. All right, um, that, that is because the coefficient of x squared is a here and the coefficient x squared is 1. So let us do some modification here, okay, uh, so that we can compare the two of them. Okay, so let's say, let me use another color. Okay, now let's say we were to bring it down here and we were to rewrite this equation such that we make sure the x squared is 1x squared. Now divide throughout by a, we'll end up with x squared plus b over a x plus c over a equals to zero. So now we can compare these two equations side by side and we can see that there is some kind of a relationship going on and that is that if you compare the coefficient of x uh, here and compare the coefficient of x over here, uh, we can figure out that alpha plus beta, which is known as the sum of the roots, Okay, because the roots are alpha and beta, so alpha plus beta is the sum of roots, is basically negative b over a. Okay, And if we were to compare the constant term right at the end here, alpha, beta, and uh, <clears throat> the c over a, we figure out that alpha, beta, which is known as the product of roots, is equal to c over a. So there we go. This is the relationship, and so many people actually think of it like a formula. Um, which is okay, no big deal at all. So you can memorize this, um, and uh, in the next few videos, we'll talk about um, what kind of questions um, we'll have to 
that we have to do do solve the questions using these properties that we know here. Okay, so let's quickly run through one particular example. Now, let's say we have a quadratic equation that looks a bit like this. Let's use use back the same one that we started off. Okay, which is um, this one, x squared minus. So um, without finding out the roots, okay, we are able to know that the two roots, the sum of roots alpha plus beta, will be equal to negative two over one negative, which is two. Okay, and if we were to check, if we were to take the 3 plus the negative 1, we will get 2. Okay, now similarly, if we take alpha beta, according to the formula, we have negative 3 over 1, because this negative 3, c is negative 3 here, and a is 1, so it's c over a, uh, we will get um, negative 3. Okay, so if we were to take this negative 3, multiply by the negative 1, we will get negative 3. Okay, so, so this is how um, the formula works.